I'm ready to begin putting in the Clayton off-road drag link. And this drag link is uh, an inch and three-eighths by five-sixteenths DOM tubing. It has a uh, rubber bushing on one end for isolation of, of vibrations and, and that kind of thing. And it has an arch here built into it to clear the diff cover on the axle. And uh, on the other end, it has a Johnny joint. I've got the bolt set in here now. It's got a Johnny joint with a greasable Zert fitting. The next step here is we're gonna, we're gonna get this bolt out. We're gonna take the other one off the, the uh, frame side, pull this, this old bar off and then I will uh, place this bar in, in, in the correct position, get it bolted up to the frame on this side. And then for this end, we're going to have to measure and set the, uh, the centering of the axle. So this is what centers the axle, right? When you bolt that onto this bracket here on the axle, basically the length that you've got that bar set to will position the axle uh, left and right into relative to the body of the Jeep. So that'll be the the next couple of steps uh, Let's go ahead and knock this out. So I've got the uh, the bar installed underneath So now we got to do is try to center the Jeep um, I don't have an alignment tool or alignment shop here in my garage Obviously, so I'm going to show you the poor man's way of centering your axle under the Jeep uh, It'll get good enough to get you out to an alignment shop uh, and to be quite honest I usually don't even have to go to an alignment shop after this. It's it's generally good enough um, so let me show you real quick here what what I've done so uh, I've made myself a plumb bob. I've got one of these on both sides of the Jeep The reason for this is what I'm gonna do you can see just by eyeballing it There's a lot more distance from this bolt to the edge of the tire. So than there is on this side So really all I have to do is take a simple measurement from the bolt to the edge of the tire Okay, and it's on this side, I'm sitting at about three and a half to three and three quarters of an inch. If you come and look at the other side, all right, and you do the same measurement, I'm sitting closer to about five to five and a half inches. Okay, so that tells me really quick and easy. Um, in this case, I can see it visually, but when you start getting it narrowed in, it lets you know which way the body of the Jeep has to move in relation to the axle. So in this particular case, the Jeep, right, the axle is shifted to the driver's side too much. So what I need to do is either pull the body this way or the axle has to go that way, okay? So the easiest way to do that is you have an adjustment down here with this, this guy, right? So you can just rotate this to the desired length and then put it in the hole. I've got a ratchet strap going from the body up here down to my frame on, on I'm sorry, the axle on this side, okay? And the reason for this is, as I showed you, I'm taking a measurement between the two points on the tires with that, that homemade plumb bob. Um, so what I'm gonna try to do is to shift the body of the Jeep towards the driver's side by pulling on this ratchet strap. I don't have a long way to go at this point. I just took another measurement and pulled it once. I think we've got about half an inch to go. So if you watch, Nathan, if you'll zoom back just a little bit, if you watch the body of this Jeep, as I ratchet this, you'll see the body move, okay? That's all there is to it, right? Now that I just moved it, all I gotta do is take another measurement and we'll see where we're at. So this side is at roughly, Let's say four inches to the outside of the wheel. And we'll do this side the same way. It's about four inches. So this looks like it's pretty close to center. Um, we'll take a couple more measurements. And then all I gotta do is get that uh, Johnny joint extended to the correct place so that it'll go in that bolt hole and we'll call it good. All the bolts have been tightened up. Uh, you can see here I've got it tightened and I greased the grease cert and it's tightened on both ends. Uh, the only thing left to do now is to tighten up this jam nut right here up against the DOM so that the, uh, so that it can't move any or turn or rotate on those threads on the Johnny joint and that'll lock it all in place. Uh, and you can notice here that my spring is nice and straight, which is also an indicator that the axle is likely very centered. Uh, so I think we did a pretty good job on that. Like and subscribe.